Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Katie Huff Ministries with Setting Yourself Free, the podcast where we want you to be, do, and have everything that God created you to be. And I have the beautiful Dr. Michelle Sherwood, as her husband calls her, the queen. And I agree, she is talented, she's beautiful, and she is smart. And I can't wait for you to hear what she's going to talk to you about on longevity and performance, two things that all of us want to be always aspiring to have longevity and high performance because of how we're taking care of our temple and our bodies. So thank you, Michelle, for being here. I so appreciate you. And I want to make sure everyone hears this. So you need to go to YouTube and Spotify and Apple and Rumble and X and all of the platforms, Facebook, all of them, because this is information that you are going to be able to use to increase your performance and longevity. So thank you, Michelle, for being here. God bless you. Well, God bless you for having us. You know, I always feel kind of lit naked when my king is not sitting next to me, but, you know, life must go on and we have to uh, uh, pave the way, uh, sometimes separately, so that we're building the kingdom together. Mm -hmm. And our passion is just longevity and performance and helping people live better, longer. We mm -hmm. like to say we want to have vitality in our years, not just more years. Amen. Amen. And so it all starts with the desire, correct? Starts with the desire, you know, and then people can't change what they don't know. So another big passion of ours is just education. We are on a mission to educate people on how they can understand uh, their genetics. And just because you're born with a certain set of genes does not mean that you have to have a certain outcome. Yeah. And the genes that we particularly study are genes that you can do something about, meaning that they're actionable. So if you come to understand these specific genetic components, you can actually change the longevity and the outcome of your life and, yeah. and the health in your years. Amen. Well, I'm excited to hear about that because um, in our family, Unfortunately, there's been a history of ALS and dealing with neurological issues, obviously. And I'm a believer and I'm a believer that this can be eradicated by some of the things that we do for longevity and performance and hopefully healing the neuro neurological system. Yeah, so our test has over 88 uh, actionable genes. We're working on, you know, over a thousand at this time as more and more data comes in. And in terms of the neurological system, a couple of the areas that are really, really important to understand at the top of the list is, of course, going to be methylation. Mm -hmm. You've probably heard that term mm -hmm. through your nursing background at some point, mm -hmm. I, I would believe. Uh, people will come into the office and they'll say, well, I have MTHFR, I've got a disease. Well, not really. MTHFR stands for a gene called methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase. Mm. And everybody, everybody has it. 100% yeah. of the population has it. It's just whether or not that gene runs at normal function, whether it's mildly diminished, whether it's moderately diminished or severely diminished. Mm. The difference in that, those particular areas is, is that if it's... Uh, uh, moderately or highly diminished, that person is at risk for slow DNA and RNA repair. Okay. So can you imagine DNA and RNA repair being compromised in the brain tissue and the neurological tissue? Oh, yeah. In tissue that doesn't repair fast anyway? Right, right. So the, so the outcome there can be slowed. It's also very responsible for how the body detoxifies. Mm. So in the standard American world with the standard American diet where we're polluting ourselves with all sorts of additives, preservatives, metabolic waste products, all the red dyes, green dyes, yellow dyes, blue dyes that are neurotoxic mm. and they're hanging around and the body can't actually metabolize correctly and methylation is highly compromised. Can you imagine what that does to the neurological system? Yeah, I can. It's not good. Not good. And it's also very directly related to how the body metabolizes hormones. So if methylation is compromised, that can actually set a person up for an increased incidence of certain types of cancer, specifically breast, ovarian, and uterine cancer. Mm. So, so as we come to understand the genes that are in methylation and where the compromise might be, we can go after fixing or assisting those genes in functioning optimally, mm. as optimally as they can even with a genetic predisposition. Wow. 
you know, so what does that look like? Yeah, I was just going to ask that. Each one of these enzymes, let's just start with MTHFR, for example, because that's where we started. But in the whole methylation pathway, there's a lot of enzymes that are responsible to complete methylation. But MTHFR, it's a big one. It is actually riboflavin. You know which vitamin B riboflavin is? I've heard of riboflavin, but I don't know which B it is. It's vitamin B2. Okay. So the MTHFR gene or enzyme, SNP, is dependent upon B2. And as it goes around its little chain of reactions, it is also dependent upon all the other B vitamins, B, B, B1, B3, B5, B6, B9, B12. And specifically, B9 and B12 have to be methylated meaning that they already carry the methyl donors, which is a carbon and three hydrogen atoms. That's mm. a methyl donor. If those are missing on folic acid or cyanocobalamin, those two vitamins, nutrients, cannot help or assist a person that has a high priority or dysfunctional MTHFR enzyme. Mm. So we have to replace those to help that system run better. So the long and short of it is, is we have to have the right cofactor, mm -hmm. which is B2. That's what MTHFR is dependent upon. And then we have to have all of the other nutrients that run the methylation cycle there in their right form, which in the terms of folate, it's methylfolate and B12, it's got to be methylcobalamin. Mm. Wow. Okay. So how do people get that? Obviously, I know there's a, there's a kingdom solution that, uh, you okay? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I just had a, a, a little malfunction, but that's okay. A mouse just knocked over a light. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. And you, you are still on and still functioning and still focused. I'm impressed, girl. That's awesome. Well, well thank you for that. Yep. Just uh, as strong and steady as she goes. Yeah, exactly. So we were on B12 and and uh, cofactor and folate in regards to the, the MTHFR. And you were asking a question regarding those two. Yes. So, you know, if, if those nutrients are actually missing, that methylation pathway is going to be compromised. So a person is not going to repair their DNA and RNA like they should. They're not going to detoxify like they should, and they're not going to eliminate hormones like they should. So it can set a person up for, of course, brain and neurological diseases. We see lots of anxiety and depression and bipolar and um, issues come out of this particular uh, instability in this pathway. We, we see people have worsening and things like ALS or Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease if this pathway is not functioning appropriately. We also see, you know, a higher toxic load. And if people are not able to detoxify, here comes that thing that we've talked about a lot called foggy brain. Oh, yeah. Big time. And that's why I was going to say, so uh, obviously there's a test for this to see a, a blood level, obviously, of what is going on in those different levels and areas, correct? That is correct. You know, our genetic profile is simply a finger stick. Oh, wow. That can be done at home. It's like, you know what an insulin yep. finger stick is like, where you yes. just pick, prick the end of the finger and you drop a drop of blood on the glucose meter. Yeah. You do the same thing with this DNA test, except you drop five little drops of blood on the DNA card, you let it dry, and then we get it sent off to the lab and analyzed. Wow. And not only does it look at methylation, but it also looks at things like detoxification. We talked about how methylation is related to detoxification, but there's a whole section that is directly related to how the body detoxes in the different phases of the liver. Mm. And if a person is compromised with detoxification, 
not only in methylation, but now you add it detoxification insufficiency on top of that, that's a person that's more likely to end up with, you know, chronic fatigue syndromes. They're more likely to end up with um, autoimmune conditions because they can't get rid of the toxic load. They're also more likely to end up with certain types of cancer because their body is extremely toxic. And we know that the, this toxic burden really doesn't do a body good. At the end of the day, that means tissue damage. Mm. So I can only imagine that um, your liver functions are very, obviously very important. Your liver is one of the greatest organs that needs to be functioning at full tilt. And so if people have a dysfunctional liver, um, are you, what are you doing with that? Is it miss, isn't it missile, mistletoe or not, I was, I would say mistletoe, but missile thorn or I I'm, this is the brain fog speaking to you, Michelle. <laughs> no, that hey, that's that's a great start. It's called milk thistle. Is one there of you the go. <laughs> nutrients that the liver really does well with. To you'll you'll actually see liver functions come down and normalize if somebody's just slightly toxic. Um, also, we utilize a lot of glutathione. Mm. Remember, we talked about how the cofactor for methylation is B two. Yes the cofactor for a lot of the GST enzymes in the liver is glutathione. Wow. So if the body's system becomes compromised in making the antioxidant glutathione, which is the body's most potent antioxidant, it compromises the enzymes of detox. Mm. So glutathione has to be there. So we can use milk thistle, we can use glutathione. Of course, we've also formulated our very own kingdom detox. Nice. And what kingdom detox is, is it's a two week process where an individual will do, will do an elemental eating process for two weeks, meaning two complete meal shakes a day, one small meal, and then two pill packs that support the enzymes in phase one and phase two with all the nutrients that they need to go through detoxification. So those little nutrient packs, this, this detox is not designed to make somebody sick, have to stay in bed, be asleep, have diarrhea, make them ill. It's just designed to help the enzymes of phase one and phase two function better so that the body is gently able to get rid of a toxic load that's in the background bogging them down, making them tired and fatigued, perhaps overweight, inflamed, have that foggy brain, malaise, mm. myalgias, depression, and the list goes on. Right. So in that detox process, you, um, I would ask, you know, sometimes people get a little confused about detox and they think that like you were saying, those symptoms that you could potentially have in some detoxes or the lethargy that it knocks your energy out and gone, um, which is huge. So um, what kind of symptoms do you think people, and I know it's very individualized, but what kind of symptoms do you think that the, uh, the individual may experience? So oftentimes, you know, day one goes great. Day two goes pretty well. Day three, here comes the headaches from caffeine withdrawal. Oh, that okay. that usually is a biggie because people are not just um, enjoying their caffeine. They've become a, a dependent and addicted to caffeine. So where when the withdrawal happens, the body goes into a quote unquote, a temporary crisis mode. Now, mm -hmm. if people can actually make it through that, which usually only lasts a couple days, that's great. If not, just a half a cup of caffeine or enough caffeine to kind of relax the, 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 the process that's going on from that withdrawal until they feel well enough to continue, continue on, uh, all is well in the world. We've been at it so long, we actually do allow one cup of coffee a day. Mm. It's not usually caffeine that's the problem, it's the load. Okay. So people, once they get past 300 milligrams, now their body becomes dependent upon it 
and it's almost robbing Peter to pay Paul. So of course there's going to be a withdrawal as they withdraw that substance that's you know been supporting or running their engine. Right. So the moral of the story is that you might have a, a couple days or a few, you know, situations where you're not feeling very well, because that's what we're actually doing is detoxing the body, which is important, but the end results getting over past that day or two, or maybe three, uh, is worth the time, obviously to get through that. So you can function at a higher level and feel better. And obviously like you were talking about longevity and performance and things like that. This is part of the process. Absolutely. And the, the other thing is not just the headaches from caffeine is when people go through a detox, a lot of times it's their first step at trying to change away from the standard American diet. And we both know that that's just toxic. It's right. full of sugars. It's full of oxidized oils. It's full of mm -hmm. pollutants. And when the body gets the opportunity to eliminate it, Oftentimes it goes full bore great guns at trying to eliminate waste. And when you come off the standard American diet, you're going to go from a high sugar, highly processed intake to like whole foods. So there will be a little bit of a crisis effect from coming off all of those sugars and all of that processed food for a short moment in time. Right. But once right. you get to the end of the 14 days, Oftentimes people see, you know, I really don't need all that junk. I've been overeating. I've been filling my body with inflammatory things. I've lost all of this inflammation around my waist. I've lost the swelling in my feet. My brain fog is cleared up. My energy is better. And they don't have the desire to return to the ways in which they came from. Amen. I was just talking to Dr. Mark, of course, of when I've tried to eat out and I'm asking them what kind of oils that they use that I'm allergic to canola oil because I get so deathly sick now that I've eliminated it from my diet and um, just how, how to treat the staff at these different locations. And some of them go above and beyond and, you know, which is a, a blessing, but once you purge your system from all this, obviously you're not going to want to go back to that. Well, that's right. And especially, you know, once a person passes the 50 yard dash line, right? Th things are not the same. We notice a lot of different changes where, you know, 20s, 30s, you've got reserve in the tank, there's extra energy there, you know, the vitality is all still there. But once hormones start changing and there's some mileage on the endocrine glands and you, you are actually experiencing that and you go through a detox and you start to feel better, you don't want to go back. Right. Right. I mean, why would you, I mean, you're, you are, I mean, you're sleeping better, you're functioning better, you feel better. So um, it's, you know, just another, you know, pat on the back or, you know, the encouragement to continue that because I mean, once you start feeling well, it's like, why would you ever want to go back? But it takes time and it takes a commitment and you would need to know what is on the other side. And that's why it's so great to have you and Dr. Mark talking about, you know, how to get over that and that detox and performance and the longevity that you, you know, are so graciously giving of your time to educate people, which is such a blessing. Yeah. Well, we have so much fun with it. Another one of the areas in our genetic test is oxidative stress. Do you, and mm. are you familiar with what oxidative stress is? I'm familiar with it, but I'm sure I can, I'm not as familiar as you are. Well, it's that old redox uh, reaction that's happening in our, in our system every moment that we breathe. Right. You know, we oxidize and reduce. We oxidize and reduce. And it takes antioxidants and it takes enzymes to kind of keep the system at neutral. But of course, as we get a little bit older, we start oxidizing faster than we reduce. Mm. Or if we live a lifestyle that is unhealthy, we oxidize faster than we reduce. So our system remains kind of inflamed and upset. And you can't just pile more antioxidants on the system and expect the enzymes to do the work. We have to take off the toxic load. And then we have to put, of course, the right things on board that are going to support the enzymes, the cofactors in those oxidative um, enzymes that are in the oxidative stress system. And then one of the beautiful things that we have available now is hydrogen water. Mm, right, right. 
That's great. And what hydrogen water does is there is a radical, it's a free radical called the hydroxyl radical that is an end product of this oxidative stress system that floats around in your system that has a negative charge. Mm. And that negative charge can attach to tissue and do tissue damage. It has no good purpose in the human body. Mm. It's very hard to eliminate it except for with the ingestion of hydrogen. Well, how do you get hydrogen? We have a hydrogen water machine that has a filter that will infuse hydrogen into the water. And then it's a 10 minute cycle. And after the 10 minute cycle, you just drink this hydrogen water. It absorbs into your system. It binds to that hydroxyl radical. It neutralizes it and it turns it into water. Wow. Awesome. So it's very, yeah, it's very beautiful. I mean, our body is 65% water anyway. Most right. of us run a little court low on water. We always need to be hydrated a little bit extra. Right. And so with the addition of this hydrogen, it can aid healing by reducing that oxidative stress. Well, that's a simple fix, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Simple and very inexpensive. The, the machines are a couple hundred bucks. They last a couple of years and they're powered by a USB port. Wow. And, and they require very little maintenance. So you can take them everywhere you go because it's a USB port. That, that's right. We travel awesome. with them. They're in our suitcases. They're in our office. They're in each office. We've even got a larger container in the kitchen for the staff to use. Oh, that's awesome. Well, wow. Well, we definitely have hit this nail on the head and the bullseye with regards to life, longevity and performance with just a, all these simple fixes from detoxing to hydrogen water. And um, I'm just hoping and believing that our audience is going to step up and want to do the detox and want to have that hydrogen oxygen or hydrox, what are we calling it? A hydrogen water pump? Hydrogen water filter to reduce the hydroxyl radical. Say that three times. <laughs> <laughs> hydrogen water filter to reduce the hydroxyl radical. Hydrogen water filter to reduce the hydroxyl radical. Hydrogen um, water filter to reduce the hydroxyl radical. There you have it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I love it. Well, great. Well, I, that's the call to action, gang, is you need to go to Sherwood.tv to get that pump. You need to go there to get the detox and start living a longer life and full of performance for two simple steps of the, the conversation that Dr. Michelle and I have just had. So is there anything you would like to say and wrap this bow up? Now we just encourage each and every person that's listening to be encouraged that you can do something about your health. It is up to you. Take the action steps today. Sherwood.tv, uh, visit us there. We've got all our plans, all our action steps on there. All of our resources are right there. And of course, don't miss Katie Huff's podcast. She is great. You wanna, won't want to miss anything she has to say because she's spreading the light across the world. Oh, God bless you, Michelle. I really appreciate you. And again, Sherwood.tv and go to K-A-T-Y-Huff, H-U-F-F dot com slash events for the women's retreat, October 27th through the 30th. And call me, see that uh, that webpage and just come and visit us in Paradise, Montana. So I just thank you, Dr. Michelle, for your heart to serve. Um, love you and your husband and all that you do to make us have a longer life and high performance. And so uh, God bless you. Thank you. And, and stay tuned for more setting yourself free with Katie Huff Ministries. God bless you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Katie Huff with Katie Huff Ministries. And this is Bella Jean. And we're coming to you today to talk to you about setting yourself free by having first a great night's sleep. How's that going to happen? By using my pillow. My pillow has incredible products. Bella Jean even has her own dog bed and loves it. She sleeps well at night, so so do we. Because we also have the topper, we have the pillows, we've used the sheets, we have the towels, and we even have the slippers. So we are a family that loves my pillow as much as my Bella Jean, and I'm hoping that your dog will love it as much as ours, and that you'll go to mypillow.com slash unmasked. Again, that's mypillow.com slash unmasked and you'll get incredible discounts for your family to be setting themselves free to having a great night's sleep and having an amazing holiday season with MyPillow products. Thank you.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Katie Huff with Katie Huff Ministries, and I'm coming to talk to you today about setting yourself free. And what that means is it begins with taking control of your finances. So I was unfortunately introduced to a number of different financial planners that really didn't put me before their profit. And I'm glad to say that Kirk Elliott, PhD, their philosophy is people over profits. They don't rush you. They have a holistic approach. They took my SEP, they invested it into gold and silver, which obviously is diversifying. It may be for you, it may not, but I will tell you this, kirkelliottphd.com slash unmasked, they will go beyond making you comfortable and knowing where your money's going. And so I would just say, take control of your finances, Go to Kirk Elliott PhD slash unmasked for discount and great advice and peace of mind that you'll have.